everybody. I am your produce guy, and today I want to share with you an old family recipe, something that I enjoyed with my parents and my children have enjoyed with our family. It's a great, cooling, summertime treat, and that is lemon ice cream. It is so simple and easy to make. You do have to have a little bit of equipment. Uh, you have to have an ice cream maker, uh, a mixer. You can use a hand mixer. I've got a uh, countertop mixer and I've got a, a citrus uh, juicer here as well. Of course you can use a by hand citrus juicer but the, the recipe only has three ingredients. I'm making a half batch of uh, ice cream today just for the show so first of all I'm going to get a half cup of lemon juice from these fresh lemons. I've got a cup and a half of sugar and I've got a quart of half and half. Those are the three ingredients that go in the uh, ice cream. <clears throat> I also have some rock salt that we'll use and I've got some ice in the freezer that we'll use to freeze the ice cream with. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing, I'm, I'm going to juice my lemons. Now these are, mm, these are some of those Meyer lemons that I uh, picked up on a recent trip to California. Meyer lemons, of course, are a sweeter lemon than uh, your regular lemons. They originate from China and they, uh, they're somewhat seasonal. You can't get them all year round, but if you can, they're wonderful. So let's juice some lemons here. Okay, there, there we go. We've got about a half cup of uh, lemon juice. It took about a lemon and a half. Those are pretty juicy lemons, so there we go. Get that to drip out just a little bit. Okay. Put that away. All right, next step. Your half cup of lemon juice into your cup and a half of sugar. Now, the secret to this recipe is You've got to let that sugar and lemon juice set together, marry, if you will. Uh, it's got to soak, the sugar's got to soak for an hour to two hours, one to two hours. Okay, so we got that all mixed up, and we're going to let that set for a bit. Okay, we've got our soaking complete. They've... Uh, Soak together here for a little over two hours and we're ready to go. So next step is our mixing step where we mix in our syrup, our lemon, lemony syrup there. Oh, that was close. Get that all in there. Okay. And then I put my, uh, my half and half into a more uh, pouring friendly container and we're going to mix this and add the half and half as we, as we go. So let's get this started. Okay. Just mix that until it's uh, completely mixed together there. I'll get that out. All right, now let's get our ice cream maker going here. Let's go ahead, pour out our mixture. Remember, this is a half batch but it's going to be just about perfect in the size uh, freezer we have here. Look at that. Sets right on there. This sets down inside and then snaps on. Alright, I'm ready to go get some ice and we'll get the freezing started. Okay, I've cleaned up my workspace and put away everything I don't need at this point anymore. We've got our uh, ice cream mix inside the, the container. 
with the paddle inside. We're ready to go here. Now the process on this, uh, you need to consult the directions of your individual ice cream maker. Well, the process on this one is, we're going to put in about two inches of ice, followed by uh, a little layer of our rock salt. And we'll continue that process, layering all the way up. The rock salt actually keeps the ice from, from freezing solid together, and it actually causes a chemical reaction that uh, makes it colder, and so it freezes faster. With, uh, with the ice. So let's go ahead and we'll get that started. The ice cream maker makes a little bit of noise. So let me plug in. Okay, we've been about 30 minutes at it. And the machine is starting to labor, so that means it should be done. You know, making this ice cream today has brought back a lot of memories for me growing up. Uh, sitting out on my grandparents' porch, buying one of those big blocks of ice and putting it in a burlap bag and then having to smash it with, uh, with a big hammer to get the ice chips to go in the, the old wooden uh, ice cream bucket. And uh, my mom used to uh, wash out those old cardboard milk cartons, little half gallon milk cartons, and, and fill those with water and put them in the freezer. And we'd break those up to, to use to make uh, ice cream. Memories of cool nights in the summer, cool evenings, sharing this together. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. It's done. Oh, that is, that is heavenly. Look at that. This comes out just a wonderful soft serve ice cream. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's going to be good. That's going to be good. Oh, that is refreshing, delicious. We're going to go ahead and put this away. Uh, probably put this in the freezer for a little bit. I've got uh, some of your produce kids are coming by a little bit later to share in some of this. So we're going to enjoy that. I would like to say thank you very much for watching the video today and a special thanks to all of you who made comments, suggestions, had discussions on the channel. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. If you haven't been uh, following me on Facebook or like me on Facebook, I'd uh, encourage you to do that. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash Your Produce Guy is where you can find me there. Thanks so much. It's been a pleasure sharing the ice cream and this memory with you today. As always, fresh is best. We'll see you next time. Tomatoes actually thrive on transplanting. And in a minute here, I want to show you exactly my technique for planting tomatoes. And, and why it's so good. So let's go ahead and get planting. Tomatoes, as I mentioned before, they love trans being transplanted. And here's what we're going to do. This, this big long stem, we're going to go ahead and pinch off, pinch off these lower leaves right here. <laughs> 